this was our Odroid H3 Plus at the end of the last video. We have it mounted in its frame with the fan at the back. We already have the memory and the SSD fitted. I have also installed Windows 11 Pro on this computer. So we're now ready to mount it into its frame. This is the frame into which we're going to mount the unit. The nuts and bolts have already been positioned inside the grooves of the maker beam. The unit will fit in here. However, before we bolt this into place, we'll need to put in the fascia cover. This one here, which will slide into position into the grooves of the maker beam. And we'll just flex this round so it's now in position. Next, we will bolt the unit into its position. We merely have to align the bolts up with the slots in the angle brackets. And then we can loosen these off and slide them into position. Right, we can tighten these most easily on this side. And that just leaves the ones at the top now to do. And the final L bracket can be lowered into position. Are now in place. So that is the unit secure in the frame. So now we will plug in the GPIO pins for the power switch. That's the green and blue connected. And we have to connect the red and the black. Like so. We can do some cable tidying of these later. Now the final part of the frame is to replace the horizontal beam that goes along the top. This will be this beam here. And we'll need to have screws in to screw into this. So we'll want three additional bolts into this horizontal beam. Actually we'll need five bolts on this one. So we can bolt this into place once we have these lined up. Right, we can put one of the small screws in at this end into the corner cube. This will secure this end in place quite happily. I've noticed for the second machine, our fan is not as close to the heat sink as it is in the first one. So we'll just move that one down slightly. And get it in line with the first one. Right, that should be us. Now, as you will have seen, there is a section at the end of this first unit, which we haven't yet populated. This one here. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to mount these in it. This is a cage for a 
two and a half inch hard disk. And this will mount quite happily in here, like so. And we have room for at least two. As the Odroid has two SATA ports, I intend installing two hard disks at the end here to be connected to this second Odroid machine, giving us two additional hard disks in addition to the SSD it already has. These cages can support up to a 5TB 2.5-inch disk. And the unit can be extracted quite easily by pressing the button on the front and fitting in here. We'll put that in a later video of course. But now we can put this back in the rack and we can power up and do some testing. Here we are ready to test our new Odroid H3 Plus. The power is supplied to the Odroid and although the Odroid is switched off, it's drawing 0.7 of a watt at the moment. So let's power it on and see how it goes. Right, we're now powered on and we're booting into the machine. It's currently drawing 16 watts, 18 watts, 19, and we're in Windows. Right, let's log into the machine and do some testing. Right, we'll give the Odroid a moment or two to settle down and we'll see what its performance on idle is. Let's close down everything. And we're currently sitting between 14 and 16 watts. So we'll say the idle power draw is around, say, 15 watts, depending on what the machine happens to be doing. And it's fairly steady. Around about 14, 15 watts. So let's load up Process Lasso and let's start a test. So we will try running the CPU Eater, which is a demo to apply a full load to all processors. We will disable the pro balance and this will run for 30 seconds. If we start this now, we'll see the load in every CPU will go up to 100%. And we'll see what difference that makes to the power draw. And it doesn't seem to be making a great deal of difference at all. We're only using about 16 watts. And that's it dropped back down now as the 30 seconds has passed. So we're back down to between 10 and 12 watts. Now we're going to try running Geekbench version 6 on this machine just to see what score it's going to return. Here we are, it's showing us as Odroid H3 and 32 gigabytes of memory of DDR4. So let's run the CPU benchmark. And there we have it completed. Our single core score is 392 and the multi-core score is 1187 and in all that time our wattage never exceeded 20 watts. In the next video I'll be adding a couple of hard disks to this Odroid. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.